hello hello katika tamaduni nyingi za Kiafrika ustaarabu wa kusoma hatukuwa nao naweza nikasema with confidence kwamba huenda zamani hizo za kale kabisa huenda ustaarabu huo ulikuwepo pale wazazi wetu ambao walianza kuandika kwenye majabali wakaandika kwenye magome ya miti huenda zamani hizo zamani kabisa huenda ustaarabu ulikuwepo naogopa kusema kwamba ustaarabu haukuwepo kabisa kwa sababu hata uvumbuzi wa maneno ulivumbuliwa Afrika sasa sitaki kujifunga kwa maneno yangu mwenyewe kwamba ustaarabu wa kusoma na maandishi ya ukuwepo ulikuwepo lakini huenda ulipotea kwenye miaka ya karibuni hapa ustaarabu wa kusoma ulipotea hasa kwa sisi wa Afrika kwa hiyo nikiona mtu anauliza juu ya afanye nini ili awe msomaji afanye nini ili aanze kusoma zaidi <laughs> hicho ni kitu kizuri yani unawanza jambo jema naona kwenye maandiko ni kama vile maandiko yanasema ukiwaza kuwa askofu walitaka jambo jema ambao ukiwaza kuwa mwalimu wataka jambo jema kwa sababu kuna msemo wa Kiafrika ambao unasema he who learns teaches kwamba yeyote anayejifunza anafundisha maana kwamba kila anayesoma huwa mwalimu directly au indirectly you can teach so long as you have the content so long as you have the content you can teach kwamba whoever learns teaches yote anayejifunza ufundishe. Kwa hiyo Elvira if you want to be the leader forever. If you want to be on the top of the game, you must be a reader. Mtu mmoja akasema today you are a reader and tomorrow you are a leader. Not all leaders are readers. But readers are leaders. Not all leaders are readers but all readers are leaders which means if you read you will get information and once you get information you apply the information it becomes knowledge you put that knowledge into practice it becomes wisdom so to read is to get wisdom to read is to get if you read the right stuff but if you read right stuff if you get information knowledge something which really inspires you you can continue to be the teacher for the rest of your life so for the rest of your life na mtu mmoja anaitwa Siddhartha Gautama ama kwa jina jingine Buddha Buddha alisema kitu kwamba when people see me they see teachings and when they see teachings they see me so there is a connection there, there is a connection and kwamba inatakiwe fike mahale kama wewe Elvira watu wakikuona waone mafundisho na wakiona mafundisho wa kuone wewe utaifikia hiyo hatua if you are a reader you are really a reader kwa sababu kusoma hakukuwa utamaduni wetu maana kwamba utamaduni wako na utamaduni wangu sasa ili uanze kufanya kusoma kuwe part and parcel of your life kusoma kuwe sehemu ya maisha yako unatakuwa develop uh, tabia na tabia ina, inaanza kujengwa kwa wazo wazo tayari unalo sasa wazo linakuwa kitendo then kitendo kisha kukirudia uh, Uh, several times uh, over and over and over again an action become a habit so 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 tu ufanye nini ili upate tabia ya usomaji unaanza na ki, wazo tayari unalo sasa unaenda kwenye kitendo kitendo kinaweza kuwa kwa sababu unaanza to read one page a day reading one page a day inaweza kawa ni uh, uh, chapter moja ya biblia chapter moja ya kitabu fulani ambacho ni inspiring sasa unasoma ile chapter unaielewa and then unaenda labda kila siku chapter moja kila siku chapter moja then ukishakuwa umemudu chapter moja you go to the second stage the second stage inakuwa two chapters a day two chapters a day inaenda two chapters a day baadaye inakuwa ni habit baadaye tena una kama vile mtoto anapoanza 
uh, uh, kutembea hatembei siku moja anaanza kwa kujiburuta na tambaa kisha kutambaa na simama simama anatembea then anakimbia the same way in the in, in the reading in the reading endeavor you start slowly you start small and then you grow big so it is the discipline you put the actions you put in reading every day is it easy it is not easy will you always have the time to read yes you will always have a time to read mwalimu wangu mentor wangu aliniambia we do not have time to do everything but we always have time to do the most important thing if something is important mzee paul ukia kutoka uganda aliniambia young man if something is important you create time for it sawa so, unaweza ukakosa muda wa kusoma kwa sababu ya majukumu ya kazi mchana kutwa but if something is important you create time for it which means you can wake up at night and then you start to read you you can spare time early in the morning and then you start to read if something is important you create time for it it is easy it is not easy mm? it is not easy it will demand your discipline it will it will demand there is a sacrifice you have to make <laughs> there is a sacrifice you have to make kama ni kutupa shuka asubuhi alfajiri na mapema ama kama ni kukawia kwenda kulala uh, there is a sacrifice that you have to make uh, easy it is not easy and uh, 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 and this is not an option you have no option if you truly want to become a leader young woman if you truly want to inspire the world you have no option julius nyerere aliwahi kusema kitu kizuri baba wa taifa mimi najifunza sana kutoka kwake aliwahi kusema kwamba the more you read the more you get enlightened the more you read the more you get enlightened yani kwamba eh, namna unavoendelea kusoma namna unavoendelea kusoma ndipo unapopatwa na mwangaza ndipo mwangaza unapokuzukia eh ndipo mwangaza unavokurukia na tukiwa tunasoma vitabu hutupa tukiwa tunasoma maandiko ni kama watu wa zamani wenye uwezo mkubwa wanazungumza katika maisha yetu Unaweza uko kuwa katika mtaa katika kijiji ambacho ni loko ambacho hakuna wasomi lakini ukikamata kitabu cha profesa ni profesa anaumimina moyo wake kwako Unaweza ukawa uko kwenye kichumba kidogo tu hata kina sofa kina magodoro lakini ukikamata kitabu kizuri kilichoandikwa na mwandishi kindakindaki mwandishi mbobevu uh, wakati huo ni profesa anamimina moyo wako kwako so reading really is a gift and we thank god for the gift of of books kwa mfano through books the distant uh, people are speaking to us uh, people who are no more the dead people are speaking to us through books Eh vitabu ni watu wakubwa zamani ambao wanaishi nasi sasa. So hii nataka nikuoneshe umuhimu wa kusoma na umuhimu wa kutafakare na umuhimu wa ku eh, eh, kujifunza. So this is to encourage you Elvira if you truly want to inspire as many young girls as possible and if you want to remain at the top of the game and always to be inspired then you have no option but to read and to read between the lines read every single morning and read every day so having to say that my dear friend i want to thank you very much thank you for your brilliant question i wish you the best i want you to become a leader and because you want to become a leader then you must be a reader my brother my sister all leaders are readers kama ile kauli niliyosema ya mwanzo not all leaders are readers but all readers are leaders because you read you get more enlightenment you get more wisdom and you can reach as many people as possible so i want to wish you the best and the layer kupambana siku moja nataka nikuone uwe kama bibi titi <laughs> ama zena abdala ama wangari mathai sawa ama ama nani ama mother teresa 
so i would love to see you emerging to that caliber yeah so kila laeri and wish you the best